Breaking overnight, we can tell you now, former Marine Trevor, former Marine rather, Trevor Reed has been released after being imprisoned in Russia since 2019 in exchange for a Russian pilot convicted of drug trafficking right here in the United States. Reed, as you know, was being held on charges of assaulting a police officer after a night of drinking, but his family and American officials say those charges were fabricated in order to use him as a bargaining chip. Let's bring in ABC News National Security Defense Analyst Mick Mulroy for more now. Mick, I'll tell you what, uh, this is the exchange everyone has been talking about since the beginning of this conflict. What do you think this tells us about what's going on behind the scenes between Russia and the U.S.? Well, it's one, one good thing is there. there's obviously a means to negotiate, a means to discuss between the two countries, and that's always very important. I can certainly empathize, empathize with the parents. Uh, this must have been a horrible ordeal, having their uh, son uh, incarcerated, what I think, on false charges for almost three years, and then contracting uh, tuberculosis. So I think this is this is a good, a very good thing. Uh, but it's likely that uh, Russia essentially saw that this and this young man was sick, uh, did not want to have to deal with that, and 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 quite frankly, did the swap for some reason with this convicted. Uh, uh, drug uh, dealer. But it is a good sign that there is a way to communicate. It is a separate channel, but it, it is a channel nonetheless. You know, and I just want to point out, Mick, your son, a Marine vet, as you have watched this story uh, and seen this, how it's unfolded and just watching uh, what's happening now in this news, uh, no doubt you can empathize here. Absolutely. He is, uh, my son's almost the exact same age and a uh, former Marine and Obviously, you can't help but to put yourself in those parents' uh, positions, and my wife and I would be just uh, distraught as they were. So it's a great day, and it's really, it's a really good news. Uh, well done by the State Department and all those that work on recovering Americans that are wrongfully detained overseas. It's a great day. Uh and of course, I, we all thank you, uh, your son, for his service, uh, Mick. All right, ABC News contributor and former senior CIA field operative Daryl Blocker joining us now in this conversation as well. Daryl Reed's father said he described the swap uh, like it was a movie. Uh, two prisoners walked right past each other. Tell us about how these exchanges go down. Give us the details. Well, Kara, the, 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 good, the great news, like Mick said, is that the negotiations didn't cease you know, with the war that people continue to push forward. And <clears throat> the the ones that I've been involved with all had to do with the uh, PAC Afghan theater and, and trying to get our, our people back from the Taliban. Um, it's a long, slow, arduous process. But when people are operating in good faith and Trevor might be, uh, his health might be deteriorating and the Russians don't want an American who is wrongfully um, detained to die in their custody. So that could have been one of the uh, impetus for pushing them forward. But as a father, not of any Marines or anyone in the military, um, I can I can definitely relate with the Reed family and all the families out there need to understand that the United States government is always actively, actively pursuing this, even when you're not seeing it and it might not be transparent to them. Well, and you both probably want to weigh in on this, but Mick, I'll go to you first. You know, what do you think this can mean uh, for other Americans being held in Russia? You know, we've talked about Brittany Griner, uh, the female basketball player. Also, we haven't talked about Paul Whelan in such a long time. We can't forget that he, too, is being held there. Yeah, I think that's a very important point. Just like Daryl said, the United States uh, is tireless in their efforts to recover Americans that were wrongfully detained. I think both of those individuals uh, probably fit that mold, uh, certainly uh, ex exaggerated uh, for whatever they might have done. Uh, the United States is not going to give up. They're going to, we're going to work to get those uh, two back home to where they should be. Uh, they should realize that this isn't just a, you know, a celebration and then we turn around and we, we turn to something else. That's not the way the United States works. We will stay on their case until, until they're safely back home. Daryl, from your experience, could this create a domino effect? I, I certainly hope so. I, I'm a strong believer that good things happen in threes. Um, Brittany has a history of working inside of Russia. She probably has people who have been backing her wrongful detention from, from the very beginning. Paul Whelan, because he was accused of being a, a, a CIA officer, might be slightly different than these other two. But rest assured that we will not uh, cease in our pursuit of trying to release anyone who is wrongfully uh, detained in any country in the world. 
Well, we're going to talk more, guys. Daryl Blocker, Mick Mulroy, thank you, gentlemen, so much. Okay, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.